Okay, so hi and welcome to your programming Oracle Database NC3 Part 2. So this topic actually will we'll be starting with the um, introduction first. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we, we you have to install first the um, Oracle Database. So this is the first step. Okay, stepwise procedure for installing Oracle 18C Express Edition. So first, go to the link provided below and download the zip file. So it, this is the link. Okay. I, I, I already uploaded this one, the, the, two, uh, the two files. So you have the Oracle Database um, Server Express, the 18C Express Edition, and also you have the um, Oracle SQL uh, Developer. But you can also download in Oracle site. I think it's around 2 gig for the database. Then next, uh, this one. Okay, you have that one. And then, of course, you have to extract. Then the first thing you need to do is extract the files. Then install the setup. Look for the setup. This is for the Oracle database. Huh? Oracle database agency. Okay. After you have extracted your file, you can view the content present in the zip files as shown in the image below. Then look for the this one. Okay, now go inside the folder, name Oracle Express here, and then execute the setup file, this one. Okay, so when you run this one, okay, you will go to this installation. Just click next, okay? Okay, now Oracle Database 11G or 12G. So just click next. Okay, the first thing is, okay, it will ask for your, this one. When you run the exe file, it will ask for your password. So um, it's better to use easy password for your database. Example, you just want to use 123456 or it's up to you. Okay. So once you, ru you run the setup, the fi setup file, uh, it will prompt this one. So I just enter the password. Always remember the password. Okay. Then click install. Okay. Then once done, just click finish. Okay. After that, now you have to uh, extract also the um, SQL developer. Okay, you have the, you have here the link, and also you can find it here in the Google Drive. Okay. So once you're here, just extract the file. Okay. And this one. So you extract the file. This one. And you just need to double click this one, the SQL developer. Once you double click, there, you don't need to install anymore. Just double click this one and you will go to this interface. Okay, this is the Oracle interface. Okay, once done, you will now see the Oracle SQL developer. Now, first check if you have this one. If you can notice, we have the, the, the sys. Okay, because that's the one that we created in the installation, this one. Enter and confirm password for the database. The password will be used for both sys and the system database accounts. So here, you already created a sys database. But if you do not have this one, okay, first, double-click that one, okay? Then, it will ask for a password, the password you created. Yeah. When you click this one, it will ask for the password, then input the password, then you will go to this worksheet. But if you do not, uh, if, if, if you cannot see this uh, sys database, the best thing you do is click create a manual connection. Create a connection manually. Okay. Then here, this will be blank, huh? So type name is sys. Then username sys also. Then the password that you created in the installation. Then select sys DBA. Then first, click test. Okay. Once you click test, the status should be success. Okay. If not, it means that there's a problem with the um, database installation. Okay. Once the status is success, click connect. Okay. Once connect, we will go back here again. Okay. And then it will ask for a password. Okay, I'll show you the uh, interface. 
So this is your um, Oracle SQL developer. Okay. And then this is the sys database. Okay. Just double click this one. If you have this one, then it will ask for your password. Just type the password, example, one, two, three, four. Okay, then we'll go that there. But if you do not see this one, example, like this. If you do not see this system or sys, click the create manually. Okay, and then type here. The sys, sys, okay, the password, then sysdba, select, then test. Okay, let's try. Okay, then test. So, just start to success. Okay, so you now added the sys database. Then if we want to connect, just click connect. It will ask for the password. Just type the password you created. And then click OK. Okay, then you will now go to the sys worksheet database. This is where you, of course, type your uh, commands. Okay. Because it's better that you install this first before we proceed with the um, lecture because we will have um, different samples. So you need to have this uh, database. 